Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about everything that I made in the month of March. So yeah, February kind of didn't happen for me. It was kind of a non-start for the month. The world has changed a lot since then and I was completely lacking in focus that month. I think I maybe finished one item, which I will put in with this stuff that I made in March so you can see, but for the most part, I just couldn't focus on anything. My mind was everywhere. And um, yeah, I've had like a bit of time to like get into my surroundings and just kind of like dig in, seeing as I can't go anywhere anymore. So, um, so yeah, now I feel better. Like I've got my groove back, we're sewing and we did quite a bit of sewing in March. So this is what I'm going to talk to you about. So let's forget about Feb, let's talk about March. So the first thing that I made in March was this top. So the pattern I used for this top is an Ogden Cami by True Bias. They are a great company, do really, really cool patterns. I actually have quite a few of their patterns, although the Ogden Cami is the only one that I've actually made so far. So that's a, uh, yeah, that will change, I promise you. I'm trying to use all my patterns this year, just like all of them. I don't know what I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna make everything. I've actually already made this very top in this exact same fabric before, but I left this top that I made a couple of months ago in a hotel room in Paris and I've never got it back but I had spare fabric left and I really really like this top so I made another one. So here it is. Odds and Cami's super super easy to make and it's one of those items that once you make it you find that you wear it a lot. It's a staple wardrobe item so if you do get this I guarantee you will make more than one and I actually have a few fabrics planned to make a couple more especially because the weather has suddenly got very very nice in England in like April which almost never happens it's usually raining right now and guess what can't go anywhere because we're on lockdown so uh yeah I'm gonna be sitting in my garden in my Ogden cami pair of shorts and uh enjoy my garden for the next foreseeable future so um so until then just gonna chill just gonna chill in my Ogden cami um I didn't make too many alterations the top itself it has quite a baggy bottom when you tuck it into a pair of shorts or into a skirt so I was quite happy with that um what I did do though is add about a half inch which is about I don't know 1.5 centimeters on the straps so that they sat a little bit lower because without it it kind of sat up here and I wanted it to kind of sit down here um, and have the option to move also when you do that it means that the back sits pretty low which is quite nice for summertime and you want like you know sun on your back and all of that stuff so um so yeah that is the Ogden Cami I'm probably gonna make a couple more you may see at least one of these for the next couple of months to come because I am planning on making a whole bunch because I don't know my uniform these days especially with this hot weather is like some sort of camisole pair of shorts and flip-flops that's pretty much it yeah if I'm not in my pajamas or in my gym clothes this is it this is it so my next item is this dress so if i lean back you should be able to see it more this is a denim dress which is super super cute really really cute i really really enjoy this dress and i'm so glad i made it it's definitely one of those like staple dresses like the Ogden cami something you can just throw on and you're kind of like one and done this is made in a uh denim like a light denim not a lightweight denim this is basically jeans type denim but i wanted it to be quite like heavy like a linen and uh this is the pattern m7944 which is one of their learn to sew ones i have quite a few of them and um i really really like them because the instructions are super easy and the patterns are usually quite easy as well but for someone who's learning they learn a whole new technique so in this one you'll be probably learning how to do buttonholes as well as uh darts and like the um princess darts in the middle and you can also get them in the back these back darts here so it's a really really cute dress and um it comes in like three different versions i did version a which is the short version i think there's like a curved bottom version and there's one that's got like some detailing in the front really really easy to put together and like i really enjoy wearing this and it's a sort of dress that you can dress up and dress down but it's definitely really good for like those casual days this is something i would probably wear with like a pair of trainers and just like my big tote bag and just be off doing my thing as soon as i'm allowed out again um but yeah that's like a really good dress and i definitely recommend you guys to make one if you haven't already modifications on that dress i made two um it was a little bit tight in the hips even though i kind of sewed within the seam allowance so what i did was unpick and made my seam allowance a little bit smaller just to give me that little bit of extra space um there's also pockets at the hips and i realized after wearing it like a couple of days and realized i didn't actually like 
having the pockets there they were distorted because like your hips would move and your pockets kind of like gape open there's no way of keeping them closed unless you put like a zip or a button on them so i took them out i took them out i just unpicked the pockets and then i closed the seam in that smaller seam allowance that i gave myself before and now it's perfect unfortunately it doesn't have pockets because i love pockets on everything but in this case it didn't really work for me i think maybe on a um drapier fabric like or maybe a linen or something that's a little bit thinner than the denim that I have it would be perfect but with that denim which is like not super thick but thick enough like medium heavyweight it didn't work so much so just something to bear in mind and also I thought it was like in a really good hand place but really weird awkward looking where the pockets are on the dress so that might be something you might need to figure out too. But other than that, absolutely loved it. Thumbs up, five stars, and 10 out of 10 would recommend. So, so yeah, on to the next one. So this is the next thing we're gonna talk about. This, oh my God, I love it so much. This is McCall's pattern 8101. This is one of their brand new spring patterns. Now, how did I get this in the UK? Well, turns out that McCall's do PDF patterns now pdf patterns now i had no idea i will be making a whole bunch of the stuff because i don't have to wait three months for the us patterns to come out in the uk i can just print them off so as you can tell i'm very very excited about it so this is um the first one that i printed off and i made this out of this really really cute fabric that i got from ikea did you know that ikea has a fabric section I did and I bought a bunch of I've got like three or four different ones but this one I was actually gonna make like a pillow and um like a little like bag thing but then I saw this pattern and I thought actually this would look really really cute as this so I made uh the small version which is view a um and yeah really really cool the only thing that I had trouble with was again buttonholes buttonholes aren't really my thing I think my machine doesn't really like making buttonholes like at all there's always something that goes wrong I will practice a hundred times on scrap and it'll come out perfect but as soon as I go onto the thing something goes wrong every single time so buttonholes are a bit jacked up but the good thing about having buttonholes in the same color as your fabric is you, you can't see you can't see and what you can't see can't hurt you so the first time I did this I did have a little bit of trouble with the bottom bit here I ripped a hole so many things happened to this one thing but I still managed to finish it because my focus was great this month so um yeah had a little bit of a problem there had to hand sew it and it does look a little weird but when it's on no one's really staring at your crutch and if they are then you probably should walk away from them but um yeah so this is fine and also there's these cute little back pockets and i absolutely love this and i'm still debating every day whether i should make them shorter i like where they are on my leg but then sometimes i think oh this would actually be cute shorter maybe i'll just make another one because i love this super super easy to put together um and it's really really cute i really like the strap detailing it comes in like three different versions so this is the shorts version there is also a strapless version and then there's also the long jumpsuit version and that is what i made for my next one which is right here i really like the short one so i decided to make another one out of this really really beautiful linen oh my god i love it so much and then i lined it with this like viscose because i didn't actually have like a lining in the color that i like so i had this like rust colored viscose which actually matches perfectly and then um i i even put some like binding detail like i went in on this one and here are the same buttons that i used for my denim dress i think they actually went really really well on this one but like isn't it just gorgeous it's just gorgeous so for this one i had to do a little bit of grading um the way that it is in the hips like the wide leg is really really wide and i wanted it to be kind of more like a boot cut but like a slim like a slim flare so i had to keep like pinning and grading i didn't actually like um do anything to the actual pattern i waited until i made it then i turned it inside out and then i kind of pinned it and then sewed it tried it on again pinned it some more sewed it some more tried it on again you know the fitting process and that's what i did to get this so this is like i love this and i cannot wait to be like invited to a barbecue or something next year so that i can uh, wear this because like let's be real uh the way things are going i don't think we'll be out before the end of the summer so um yeah this is definitely a next summer thing but i will be wearing this in my garden and if i haven't put any pictures up already i will be putting pictures up on instagram of the photo shoot that i'm probably that i'm gonna go and have like now 
apart from the little snafu I had with the spotted one, really, really happy with how they both look. I think I'm gonna be making a few more in some other colors. I've got some really nice white linen, which I think would look beautiful, especially with like some contrast um, thread uh, for the stitching. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have a go at that. Maybe I'll go for the um, the strapless one for that because I think that would look gorgeous um, in the wide leg. So that's another thing I'm going to be hopefully trying out over the next month or so. If you have this pattern, then make one. And if you don't have this pattern, you should buy one and then make one. And if you're in the UK and you're thinking, oh, I can't get this pattern. Yes, you can, girl. Yes, you can. You can get this pattern online, download, print, sew, and then come and show me, okay? All right, on to the next one. I've got two more things to show you and then we're done. I promise I'm gonna try not to be in your hair for too long. So the next one I actually made, it wasn't for me. It was not for me. I actually made something for my boyfriend because it was his birthday this week. So I thought I'm gonna make him some pajamas because I really only make for myself in this household and sometimes he will get something but like it's really not that often so because we're home and like we're gonna be home for his birthday and we can't do anything uh obviously we're talking to all of his friends online and stuff but i thought i would give him a present which i sat and made myself i made him some pajamas because he totally needs some new ones so here we go this fabric here is a really soft cotton that i've been saving to make myself some like really cute striped pajamas but i decided that he would be better in the striped pajamas so basically it's like this and then you've got some buttons and it's got a little button fly which i did so this counts as my year of pants i've made basically three pairs of pants this month um and i think i'm getting better at flies like i'm not amazing at them the only thing i would say is a little bit of a mistake is that my buttons are too big and that's because i don't have the exact size that i need for this so at some point when i get new buttons i will probably change them out and then it'll be perfect but you know what these are pretty cute and yeah they're just like normal standard pajama bottoms you know just lounging pants and like we definitely need those at the moment all we're doing is lounging at the moment so yeah lots of lounging pants i'll probably make him another couple of pairs and uh yeah little little small birthday gift from me to him oh uh, yeah and the pattern that i used for that was a simplicity pattern i think it's simplicity 8519 and it's just like a really easy one and it's got like sizes for men and sizes for boys so if you've got like kids you can also just whip out a few super super easy once you've cut it out and everything you can just make it up in a couple of hours really really easy and i might even make myself some actually i probably won't i'm probably just gonna borrow his because i like wearing his clothes so. okay so the last thing that i made is a thing that i made so many of and will probably continue need to be making a lot when I get more supplies and that is face masks now, now I think in the US now they're asking if you're gonna go outside you have to wear a face mask that's like a thing that everybody wants and also like hospitals and stuff are asking for them same thing out here I don't think they've said that it's like mandatory that you wear these but as soon as I saw that there was at least some benefit for it to stop touching your face and stuff like that when you're out and about I started whipping these up so that's what i was doing last month the majority of my time last month was spent making these and this pattern i used um mimi g's pattern which i will link down below if you want to know how to make your own and um, i think Brittany j jones also did an amended version of this where it has a opening so that you can put a filter inside so i will link that video as well super super easy and you can whip up like 20 in an hour if you batch so so if you if um if you cut everything out together and then you cut all the supplies together and then you sew everything together in a chain you can get loads and loads and loads done um and then you can do your part to help everybody all the hospitals and people and the vulnerable so that's what i was doing so i made about 50 of these before i ran out of elastic and i have ordered some and but because of deliveries being really delayed um it'll be a little while before i get some but as soon as i get some more i will raid my ankara stash and um get to making more i use 100% uh, cotton which is what is recommended um, I have a lot of Ankara fabric a lot that I was going to be making little tops and stuff but I thought it's probably a more worthwhile cause to be able to make a bunch of these for everybody that needs them so yeah I've given away all of like my 50 apart from uh, six which I have at home for me and Sam and we have to go grocery shopping so we can uh, throw them in the wash and then we can like um, rotate them so yeah they're really really easy to make they're super super comfortable and uh well if you make them in a really nice printed cotton then they're also pretty stylish as well 
it gets quite warm in there as well. So I think that at least our near future, people are gonna be wearing face masks all the time. And I also think that the fashion crew and the sewing crew are gonna be like, okay, well, if I'm making this top, I might as well make a matching face mask and that will be a thing. So I think for almost every outfit that I make in the future, at least until it's safe to not be wearing these outside, I'll probably make a matching face mask because you know, we like to match, you know, you know? So that is everything that I made in March. We've got one denim dress, one Ogden cami, two jumpsuits, a pair of pajamas for my boyfriend and 50 face masks. And I'll be making probably more of those. Before I go, I did make one thing in February and that was my beloved Alistair Top, which is another one of the McCall's like uh, early spring releases. That one is called M8043 absolutely loved that and it was really really close to the Orson Iris top that I was absolutely obsessed with so I did make that I did finish that and I managed to wear that in Paris before before we weren't allowed to go anywhere and I didn't know that we shouldn't be going anywhere I should have been prepared and kind of brought it here but I completely forgot so I'm just going to show you this picture and uh yeah it's going to just stay on the other side of the house where it is in my wardrobe but uh that is it for this video guys thank you for watching to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video then let me know hit that like button send me a comment below which one was your favorite what have you been making did you know McCall's did bloody pdf patterns I didn't I didn't I do now you do now and if you haven't already then subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video stay home guys stay home